Are you suffering from a bad Wi-Fi range? Hey what's up guys, Manchu here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can convert your old router into a Wi-Fi repeater. So let's get started. So you need an old router, power brick and ethernet cable. Connect your power and ethernet cable to output of the router and another end to your PC. Then reset the router by pressing this reset button for around 10 to 15 seconds. When all the lights turn on and off then it means that your router is set to its factory settings. Right now you can see that we have no internet access. Let's get started with settings. Go to your browser, type the IP address of this router. In my case it's 192.168.0.1 but if you are not using the same router as mine, just google your router's IP address by its model name. Username and password is admin admin. It is generally written on the backside of your router. Then just follow these steps. Go to your network, then LAN and change the IP address here as my main router address is same. Let's say 192.168.0.2. Then save and OK. IP address will be changed to 192.168.0.2 to avoid any conflict between the main routers and the router which you are modifying to make repeater. The router will restart automatically. Then put the username and password. Now you can see that IP address has been changed. After this click on this wireless settings and check this enable WDS. Then find your main router by clicking on this survey button. Identify your Wi-Fi name and note this channel number that is 7 in my case. Now click connect and select this drop down and enter the channel number which is 7 as we have seen in the last step. Now click key type if your Wi-Fi is password protected and enter your existing password. You can change the name of the repeater if you like, let's say HS Wi-Fi 2 and then save it. Again reboot the router then refresh the page. Now you can see here your new router aka repeater's name. You can set a new password for your repeater or you can write the same password as of your main router. I am writing the same password. Then save it and reboot. Last step is to disable DHCP from DHCP settings. Click on reboot. And that's it. Repeater will take a minute to access internet and now you can enjoy full Wi-Fi range. Hope you like this video. If you do, so please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to Creator Shed, subscribe it right now. I make 4 videos each week. See you in my next video. Till then, this is Himanshu signing out.